Before I made um, Feral, I made a couple of other little films that were just one minute long. Yeah. One was called The Windmill and one was called Drift. Mm -hmm. And those films were just short little, more abstract kind of uh, studies of movement. Yeah. And The Windmill specifically um, had um, introduced some ideas that I de then later developed further in, yeah. in Feral. One of which was the, the, or the main idea in, in the windmill was that there was this abandoned building, this kind of cylinder that was sitting on top of a hill. Mm -hmm. And you see the, sh uh, and you, it's kind of a POV shot. You get closer and closer to the windmill and then you kind of spiral around it and you, you float above it and you realize that you're seeing your own shadow on top of the building. And it's the shadow of this kind of floating child, which is the exact same silhouette as, as the feral boy. And that windmill, that building, is a real building from my own childhood. Mm -hmm. It's, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's. Uh, I grew up in in Portugal, okay. Okay. in a, a town called Linda Velha, and it was kind of at the edge of um, uh, the woods. So this kind of, you know, Lisbon is is, is very urban, you know, um, uh, uh, lots going on. But then at right, right at the edge, there's there's woods, and I, I kind of lived in this kind of. Sp <laughs> going back to that idea of, of this kind of liminal space, I lived between two worlds, right? right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, this little windmill um, was right at the edge, and I I would go there from time to time just to kind of be by myself yeah. and to yeah. kind of climb up to. The, there was a spiral staircase, and I would go right up to the top and look out to the to the forest, um, and it was a way to kind of get away from everything. Yeah. and yeah. to feel connected to nature and, yeah. and so yeah. on. So, um, uh, so you know, when you ask if it's autobiographical, <laughs> exactly. no, it's not autobiographical, <laughs> but there's, there's, yeah. yeah, there's elements that yeah. are, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, and that's so interesting. I mean, it, you know, it, it's, it's the way in which you stitch together a narrative that reflects like an entire lifetime of paying attention to things that have heavy metaphorical meaning. It, or or autobiographical in this case, but also metaphorical, right? And, and, and yeah. so that windmill, I'm guessing, is the same windmill that shows up in the first opening sequence of Feral, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, of course, I don't expect anyone to know what that is. Right. right. So I try to imbue it yeah. with a yeah. certain with a different meaning in yeah. it you know yeah. it, it has a, a certain other presence which i myself not i'm not even sure what it is frankly yeah. right, other right, than right, right, right. it's necessary for the film yeah. it, it has a certain presence which which is almost it's a little bit threatening it's a little bit almost like an agent of chaos it's something that it could be the weather vane inside of the child psychology mm -hmm. something that changes that 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 signifies the change of emotions from kind of frustration to, to, to peace, to, to a feeling of belonging, to a feeling of, of, of alienation. Right. So the, right. this, in a way, his, 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 um, his inner mind is, is given form, is given concrete form through, through this visual manifestation of the, the windmill. Yeah, yeah, it's a really beautiful thing. And I love the way you're discussing that because I, I think, you know, artworks that for me have the most power um, are, are ones that I never conclude, you know, that I never figure out, uh, that, you know, maybe bother me is not the right word, but that, you know, continue to stimulate me or to kind of aggravate thought. And, and so that, I think there's there's many moments in, in a film like Farrell and basically all the artwork that I like, regardless of the genre or, or medium, uh, where I just don't, I just don't know. And, I, and sometimes I never want to know uh, you know, and it, it's kind of interesting, like something like this windmill. Um, like, I didn't know that, right? Like, we've known each other for a long time. You've never told me that story. I didn't know it had any connection to you. And it, it's interesting to see what that does to my reading now, right? Because I've been reading that windmill, like in the 15 plus viewings or whatever, just completely divorced from that idea. And so now that I know that, it, you know, I don't know how it'll change my viewing. Um, but it'll be interesting to have that tidbit. And, and that's something like as I share it with others or if you know, we watch it in class, it'd be interesting to see if, if I think it's good to pass that on or not. You know, right. like that, that well, I'm good. curious, what, um, uh, what, what did you see it as before? I think, I think I saw it just as a metaphor, you know, like as a visual metaphor of, uh, of being released from 
the constraints, like earthly constraints, um, spiraling because it was sort of spiraling through space and the camera movement and its movement was so lyrical um, that it, it seemed like this great release of something very heavy, something very mechanical, something that's of physics, of the physical world um, that is now flying, is floating, is completely divorced from whatever reality it once had. Um, so I think just off the top of my head, that's how I sort of... I think I like that it. better. <laughs> I'll stick with that. It's just, it's just something else I look at. <laughs> <laughs>